take a look at this. Now, doesn't this just take you back, back when the food and festive fun was flowing back to, well, about a month ago? <laughs> Your poinsettias may not look this good. In fact, you may be ready to throw them out if you haven't already. Well, here's the thing. You don't have to. And here to tell us why is gardening expert Jenny Rosencrantz with the University of Maryland Extension. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Yeah, <laughs> so this is a poinsettia from Christmas. Absolutely. And it looks beautiful. They can. They can. And, and you can... You can keep them keep alive them. all winter, all summer, and then into next Christmas. Oh my really. goodness. Oh yes. yes. The, what, what sorcery are you using to make the, I mean, because mine oh. die before Christmas is over. <laughs> you know, the, the, the easiest thing is, is to remember where they're from. Okay. These guys grew up in Mexico, so it's hot and sunny, like where we would like to be this weekend instead of where it's going to yeah. be snowing. <laughs> but if you think hot and sunny, then that's what you need to do for these poinsettias. They like to be in an area where the sun is shining all day. Mm -hmm. okay. You only water them once a week. Okay. And just enough to get the, the soil wet and, and to have a little bit of water at the, at the, at the tray that holds it. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as you get like 15, 20 minutes, take the uh, plant off the tray, get rid of the water that's there, put it back. Just, it likes to be hot and dry. It really, oh, really does. Okay. So, I mean, really, these are very easy keepers in that sense because ignoring them mm -hmm. makes them happy. That's incredible. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's yes. usually not the case. Okay, so but do they keep growing? I mean, I've seen... Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, but getting tall, do they get fuller? Is they can get trick? crazy. In Mexico, these are hedges. People use <gasps> head shears. In Mexico, just yes, I've seen it. It's just that's a point seven. Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! <laughs> but okay, so what we could do is we could go ahead and keep it through the winter, which would be easy to do, and then go ahead and just plant it in the garden in this in the summertime, as soon mm -hmm. as the temperature is really warm, warm enough for tomatoes. And I don't mean putting tomatoes with those little, you know, cloches over them. When the soil is actually warm, you can put this out, and it'll be really, really nice. Mm -hmm. um, and then it'll look gorgeous and tropical in your garden all summer long. Or you could go ahead and say. Hmm, I'm going to go ahead and be a, more of a challenge. I'm going to take care of it all summer and all winter. So what you want to do in, uh, I would say, May, you want to go ahead and take it out of the pot. You want to put it in a new, larger pot with new soil, potty mix, and you want to kind of tease the roots out. Okay, you can do that, or you can go ahead and take a knife and cut, you know, just mm -hmm. because you don't want those roots to keep circling like they are. You want them to uh, break into that new soil. Okay. Right? And then you treat it like a, a house plant, a tropical house plant. In late May, after Mother's Day, you put it out where it's going to get some sun. Now, the first week you want to have it so morning sun, afternoon shade. But then after that, this is a tropical. Put it out mm -hmm. in full sun. And, you know, you want to start to fertilize it a little bit. You know, like I do half strengths. So you don't want to shock it. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, in, in terms of keeping, you know, weight off and all that. <laughs> <laughs> and then after about two weeks, you can go ahead and, and give it a regular amount of, of uh, fertilizer. And that will be like a 20, 10, 20. So a little bit of nitrogen and uh, potassium, a little bit of phosphorus. And the other thing is, though, you want to go ahead and after about two to three days, well, at least a week or maybe two weeks, mm -hmm. you want to, at that point, cut back the tops. Okay. Because by cutting back the tops to about three to four inches, that's going to make the plant go, okay, you cut the roots, okay, my roots are growing now, you cut the top, oh, 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 okay, new branches, new branches, new branches, ah. and it'll get nice and full, and then it'll be larger, and then when it's about, you know, five to six inches taller, uh, then you just pinch the tops, which is, it sounds really weird, but the, the growing tip, you just pinch it off a little bit, uh -huh. and that again causes it to get a little bit fuller and prettier, and then... Okay, September, you're going to yeah. bring it in. Bring you're going to put it okay. in your room with lots and lots of sun, but you've uh -huh. got to have to have a large box that can go over it that is completely black out on the inside. Oh, okay. Yes, so at 5 o'clock in the afternoon, pop goes the box. Okay. 7 in the morning, off it comes. Okay. These guys need at least 10 hours of full sun, mm -hmm. but a minute over, you're kicking the clock back. I see. So if you can do that September all the way, first of September all the way to Thanksgiving, and then don't worry about it, uh -huh. you'll have this. It's that easy. Ta da <laughs> <laughs> Jenny Rose and Chris, thank you so much. You're welcome. Go try you. it next year. <laughs> <laughs> and enjoy your points, that is. Thanks.